November of 2017, and this time next year, it'll be a whole different picture. So I'm excited for legalization and the competition that'll bring. Um, I'm excited for vapor lounges, and I see individual dispensing at those lounges to be in the near future. So we're gonna keep fighting until we get there. And are you still optimistic, despite the battle that going through right now in the court system and um, everything else with the cannabis culture? Well, I've always practiced civil disobedience, so I've always been willing to accept the consequences, and I, I'm right. aware of that I'm openly breaking the law, but I feel I'm doing the right thing, and I'm in the moral right. And what do you see, let's say 10 years down the road, what do you think we'll be looking at, Dan? How will things have changed? Once oh, you... <laughs> it's going to be a whole different world. Um, we'll see all kinds of competition, and I think the world will be a better place because of cannabis legalization and I hope to see like a domino effect across the world because the war on drugs is just terrible and I think that it needs to be treated as a medical issue instead of you know criminal so even other drugs I think could be could be the the, the crimes should be lessened you know all right well thank you very much Erin to keep thank up the you. good work thank you so you. much all right sister